Hey Leo, welcome to your intuitive tarot reading. Let's see what messages will come up for you. What's going on for Leo? What are the messages for Leo, please? First card out, we have the King of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. We have Three of Pentacles. And Page of Wands. So yes, I like this energy because what I'm seeing is that you guys are turning on a new leaf, okay? Um, you're releasing some unhealthy behavior and pattern and just getting back on track. It's going to be a very exciting period in your life. can also be a relationship that has been very confusing. Somebody that has been very secretive or you feel like there was illusion in that relationship. The King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I'm picking up a shadow side here of somebody lost in fantasy or uh, pretending that they could be okay, but they're not really. This could also be coming across as some kind of deception where you could have found out that this person is talking to some other people and you had your suspicion, you had your hunches, but you only needed to really look further or look closer and that's when you come to a realization like, I'm ready to pack my bags and leave. I want a new beginning. I need to release myself from all of that. Okay. This is also the energy of planning the three of pentacles. You are also needing some kind of support from people right now to go in this new direction consistently and not be tempted to look back in the past. This is friends, family around you. That can really enlighten you okay or make you have a strong conviction on the decisions that you're about to make okay or the steps that you're about to make as well as a form of movement forward because it can be very difficult with seven of cups and king of cups to um, completely heal a situation where you failed to get the clarity that you needed directly from somebody it was a feeling of leaving the situation confusing or something left undone, okay? Um, but the thing that you need to understand, Leo, is that you might have felt confused, but it was this person who probably didn't really know what they wanted. It's saying that with Three of Pentacles, you had this desire of working things out. You wanted to ground the connection. But it can be hard for somebody to give that kind of relationship or treatment towards you when they themselves are still figuring uh, where they're supposed to be heading. Some of you are dealing with an older individual. There is some age difference here. Page of Wands and King of Cups. I also see that you might have met this person on social media. It could be uh, somebody from a distance. And so in the beginning, you felt like it was safe to pursue this person. But it's like your intuition was definitely kicking in. And you had to listen to your gut, your instinct. Like you, you somehow suspected like there was other people that this person is uh, interacting with, right? Three of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. Some of you, this could also be somebody at the workplace and could be a boss or somebody older than you with King of Cups. You don't know if this relationship is professional, strictly professional, but you could be hanging out outside work, okay? Uh, this King of Cups, though, this is somebody on the outside exudes a sense of diplomacy. So you might say that this is somebody of authority. People look up to this person. Uh, this person seems to show control over emotions. But underneath, this is also a highly sensitive person. Knows when to let loose and celebrate, right? Could be that at the workplace, this is somebody you see as a boss, strictly professional. But outside, you both have a different kind of connection. So you feel like it's your own little world, Leo. That's what I'm seeing here. And you don't want to be lost in that fantasy anymore. Like you want this King of Cups to somehow make things official with you or just come out in the public because you don't really like this energy of, you know, being different around others and being different when it's only you both. Okay. So you want it to be very transparent like that. And that's the only time that you're going to fully 
commit with page of wands because you have this strong conviction in you i see the page of wands as you bursting with so much energy happiness and joy kind of like a free spirit you're not gonna let this situation bog you down okay some of you it's also that finally you have this joy and positive uh, positivity back up after this lesson has already sink in right it took a while for you to dispel the confusion but you now come to some kind of realization okay of this person's patterns and tendency it could have been a very good match but you just found the situation very confusing and you don't want that kind of energy in your life because that could also lead potentially distract you the seven of cups can also mean taking your focus away from the mundane you feel like you're always being distracted because of what's going on in this partnership okay it's a process though okay you're taking baby steps here with page of wands and like i said you need support from friends around you so let's get more cards out here we have the star card so i see some of you are dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces can also be an aquarius we have here the harfit taurus energy We have the Five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. It's very interesting because we have Queen of Cups and King of Cups. It's saying that this person may have been involved in a relationship already or have been married. We have here the Harfit, and there's no judgment in this reading, okay? Um, it just feels like this person may have been through a long-term relationship before you both met. Or it could be that they are in the process of leaving that relationship. Uh, but you felt like this person still is not trying to figure out what they really wanted. So you could have at some point stuck around to see if um, this person will have a new beginning with you, right? Um, you feel like they're just still not quite ready. They're still focused on the three of cups that have already been spilled. Instead of looking into the two of cups that you both share okay so you feel like in this own little world that you share there has been so many things that you realize about how much you're fully able to love somebody and give so much of yourself that it may have been a feeling of being lost in fantasy so i see that there is a huge wake-up call here for you and it's about you finding your path once again going back to yourself who you are okay reminding yourself as well to your principles your beliefs okay that's the harfant as well here this is a card of teaching and learning okay radically changing your perspective on things it's like you're being reminded here of what kind of relationship you're seeking right you want not just an emotional connection with somebody i see that you want commitment you don't have time and energy for uh, this confusion or waiting for somebody to mm, decide on this relationship now with five of cups there was a moment where you really have given your all and you prepared something you, like you have been preparing yourself you have been giving so much love and attention to this individual but it's just a feeling of you getting disappointed you know like you really connected with this person but it's so difficult to work things out with this person right now uh, it seems like they were not really ready to break free from that commitment they had with the past. Okay. So Queen of Cups and King of Cups, this can also mean that your partnership here is more of the emotional plane. You know, you really understand one another. Um, the thing about you both is that you can bear your emotions to each other. You can speak how you feel without any kind of judgment. Um, you feel like you really click with this individual but in in reality here in the physical dimension right so that that's the three of pentacles meaning laying down the blueprint the foundation of this relationship it's like your person could have let you down okay that's the five of cups you had this kind of hope right the start card dream you wanted to manifest something uh, more grounding something that you can hold on to such as perhaps marriage commitment but this person could have pulled back you know there was a real moment of this person not communicating with you for weeks for months uh all of a sudden distancing themselves 
or this could be them all of a sudden asking break from this relationship I'm also getting a different message here Leo okay could be that you both are engaged right that's the Hierophant here this may not resonate for all this already happened in the past okay that's the five of cups you're just re-examining and reassessing right what could have went wrong why did this person pull back you know last minute things could have been so much better is what the cards are saying there's still so much love for each other though it's just that you may have found it very difficult now to trust this person because uh, they got really confused you thought that you both were on the same page you both were ready you both were planning and you know manifesting all your goals together but like they are now second guessing or they might have second guess so i see that you're healing from this okay leo i see that it's not going to be an easy process but you're really empowering yourself the queen of cups is a natural healer you're bringing all of this to light because you're you're real realizing here now um that you cannot control how other people think why they get confused what you can control is you your mind your thoughts your emotions somehow and what you choose or what the steps that you're going to be choosing to take from here on okay i see that you are in a much better place the star and the harfant does mean healing optimism and positivity there could also be already somebody new here five of cups right you're just focused on that time that you got disappointed or that time that you learned this hard lesson but with two of cups there is new connection here you could be working with a group of people and somebody here is standing out somebody here is grabbing your attention the seven of cups can also mean that you are now keeping your options open you finally realize that uh, by you learning to love yourself you empowering yourself and staying positive amidst everything that you've been through that universe is going to keep on opening up new doors okay and this is just not about love you know this could be work opportunities to grow expand as a person okay so i see that that's the path you're you're going to be taking is a sense of exploring your options keeping your options open okay so let's get more cards out here Please take only what resonates for you, Leo. Let's see, what is your energy towards this person? What is Leo's energy towards this person? We have the Seven of Pentacles. So there's essentially this energy of, is there something to hold on to? Do I wait for this? Uh, because I have already done my part. Okay, this may resonate for those of you that uh, somebody started to pull back and they could be saying, I just need more time to figure out how I feel. Um, so there's this energy of making you wait here. Let's see. Let's clarify this card, okay? We have Queen of Pentacles. So you feel like they're distracted right now. Again, that's the Seven of Cups with the mundane, with things going on in their life that... They're not really focusing on the most important um, concern at the moment, okay? The status of your connection. So you also feel like they are easy to detach when it comes to the workplace. If this is somebody that you met at work. So that's the thing. You want to bridge that fantasy that they're trying to build here into your reality. But Seven of Pentacles is saying that you have already been waiting. You had invested so much time on this. I see that some of you are opening, opening up yourself for a new potential and keeping your options open. So it's, it's kind of like an inner conflict right now. Should I wait or should I start opening up to somebody new? So let's see how this person's energy is towards you. Leo, we have the Ten of Wands. and the emperor card so the emperor card to me is somebody that like i said a person of authority somebody that can also be very closed off at times you know um i see that this emperor here has been feeling some type of burden with ten of wands this could be brought about by their past okay or both of you the the experiences that you had in the past they can't seem to release a burden 
this is what's getting in the way from them focusing on the connection they're so distracted or they have been doing so many things if this is them uh, being very preoccupied with work okay or there's just so many things that they're too invested on and they need to cut the unnecessary in order to focus on the relationship and you have been waiting for that you wanted some kind of balance in this relationship okay for those of you that are just re-examining an old relationship it's saying that this person has been a very heavy burden that you need to release and you're just being patient with yourself and you're now reaching a more balanced state of your life you're seeing both sides okay light and shadow duality let's see what is the neutral energy between you both we have nine of wands and the five of pentacles so the nine of wands here is you standing strong okay uh, this is also a card of perseverance some of you are not giving up some of you are just waiting for this person to come around again that's also the seven of pentacles but for some of you it's saying here that you're standing your ground even if you're feeling um, like you are going through a personal winter in your life this person treating you coldly this is the energy of you being strong and looking into your inner strength okay nine of wands is also you building walls around your heart like as a form of protection a reminder not to put yourself back in that position and five, five of pentacles is you still finding your way out of that dark tunnel okay and you're going to be coming out of that towards the light there's a light at the end of the tunnel okay it's just a temporary healing process and once that you have fully healed you're just going to fully realize how strong you are and how many more things are coming towards you so let's get some soul journey lesson card here and see the lesson that you're currently learning leo if these messages don't resonate then please surrender uh, surrender these messages just back to universe and if it resonates then by all means meditate this is after all a general reading so what is the lesson that leo is currently learning this card over here so we have here surrender i can release my need to control so yes surrender all your concerns your your worries your the heaviness that you feel in your heart to universe and allow things to unfold naturally on its own for you whether this is a new path whether it's about working things out okay uh, this is also saying not to let this whole situation have control over your own happiness anymore let's see what this card has to say okay as advice so it says here you need to understand the distinction between power and control you have the power of internal control but very little external control over people or situations so yes like i said leo you have control over your decisions but not what what this person here has been feeling or thinking it says the majority of your external control is through the power of influence you can lead by example every soul has its own unique path and it's not your job to dictate it giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way they should be envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon you will be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth that is a beautiful beautiful reading and this is for you leo hopefully it resonates let me know in the comment section thank you for watching till the end sending love and light and namaste